Hey y'all, you won't believe it. Came out here with Mike from Marie Outdoor Adventures and uh, <laughs> we're gonna do some still hunting. Got out here, realized I didn't bring my GoPro. So we get everything packed up, we start still hunting. I get halfway through the hunt and I decide I'm gonna shoot some B-roll footage and uh, I didn't bring my phone. Left my phone back in the vehicle. So Mike and I are hunting, looking around, decide, okay, we're gonna call it, we're gonna come back down. And as fate would have it, on our way back down, at about 100 yards is this beautiful, this is the biggest buck I've ever personally seen with my own eyes. And I've never harvested a buck this size, but uh, kind of caught off guard, didn't know what to do. Buck fever, my heart still just is pounding out of my chest. And Mike looks at me, says, just breathe, brother, and when you're ready, take the shot. And I mean, absolutely beautiful. We, we took the shot. Uh, Perfect shot, dropped him, um, stopped him in his tracks. I wish I had that video footage for y'all. I don't, but uh, why don't we just take a, a, another look at this, or get, let's get a closer look. I mean, beautiful. Just look at that. Oh, yeah. Beautiful, mature buck. You know, I've always heard the stories of people talking about, you know, you should wait until they get more mature. There's a greater appreciation. I'm a deer hunter for meat. I'm trying to provide for my family, put meat in the freezer. If I ever get a buck, that's awesome. But it's been a trying uh, last couple of years. And this makes it all worth it. So guys, the rut is in full swing. We're here in Northeast Tennessee. Um, if you don't get out in the outdoors, you should. Uh, that's the only way you get to create moments like this. Be surrounded by friends and family that always support you and love you. But, uh, yeah, don't know what else to say. I know this is going to be a short, quick video. Um, God is good. What a blessing. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Uh, you still have time. It's never too late to start hunting and getting out and enjoying God's creation. Remember, the best things in life are kept simple. We'll see you again soon on Simple Life Tennessee.